Residents, councillors and mayors from across Sydney have rallied against state government plans to merge local councils. Two eastern suburbs councils have become the first to vote in favour of an amalgamation. But they're in the minority, with many fearing it'll just lead to increased rates and cuts to services. Jane Margetts reports. Maroubra resident Margaret Hogg wants her local council to stand alone. This is not good reform. This is absolutely catastrophic to the economic benefit of this entire state. There are concerns it will mean cuts to services, jobs and increased rates. But the Mayor of Waverley argues most residents support the merger of Waverley and Randwick councils. So our residents will be better off and therefore we can give them better services. There are 41 councils in Sydney. The government's expert advisor has recommended that be reduced to 18. Outside Parliament, there was little evidence of support for the plan. They came from Strathfield. We are currently polling at 97% against. Wallara. If they want to amalgamate us, they've got to take down and bash down the walls. We are not moving. And from Hunters Hill, to name a few. We are, with the others, going to stand up and give them a boot that will hurt forever. Residents say community consultation on this issue has been non-existent. Now they're calling for a referendum. But the government says the plan makes financial sense. Councils cannot continue to lose up to a million dollars a day. This is not sustainable. Councils have until the end of June to provide either a proposal to merge or justification against it. The question then is whether amalgamations will be forced. And there are enough politicians here today to stop that change happening. And I'll do all I can to make the Premier keep his promise. It's a promise the government took to the last election. Jane Margetts, ABC News, Sydney.